I've got it all planned out. Dinner at a fabulous new restaurant, a star-studded movie premiere, and then a wild penthouse party. Or we could just watch Gilligan's Island reruns and cuddle on the couch. Perfect. Hmm. First we go to the fashion show, then the depilatory demonstration, and after that, you watch me get a pedicure. Heaven. Hmm. I figured we could kick back at my place and just talk. But my key, I don't speak English very well. Excellent. I'll whisk you away to San Francisco for a fabulous, fun-filled evening of dining and dancing, followed by a moonlit cruise in the city's world-famous bay. What do you say, Grace? No. Mm. Hank Kohler, diner patron extraordinaire and owner of A Hungry Heart. Here you go, coach. When it comes to love, there's only one woman who can satisfy his appetite. Grace Musso. Though she can't stomach the sight of him, Hank won't give up. When it comes to chasing Musso, Kohler takes the cake. Enough is enough. <gasps> you are the bane of my existence. An anchor around my slender neck. A canker on my dainty derriere. Get yourself a girlfriend. A life. A lap. I demand a rematch. Say my place around Danish. Oh, no. I've seen this happen before. Annie's gonna want me to get involved. Don't you feel just terrible for Hank? I just finished six hours of PSATs. The only person I feel terrible for is me. I need to zone out. Pull a no-brainer. Do something that is a total waste of time. I need... People Magazine's secret peek into the hidden world of Princess Di. We can't just sit here and let that poor man suffer. Hey, Abe Vigoda converted his garage into an office. Hank needs someone to love. We've got to help him find her. Shamu had twins. Grandma used to say... There's a pebble on the beach for everyone. Why must you always be a one-woman dating service? Didn't you learn your lesson when you fixed Jerry up with that Cuban power lifter? Cheetah's a lovely girl. Jerry's just too picky. Annie, I need some uninterrupted magazine reading time. Please. Besides, every time I get involved, I make things worse. Her son's in my daycare class. I met her once, at the park. Go over and say hello. Maybe she's free tonight. I can't. Uh, tonight I'm trimming the mold off my cheese collection. Coach, wait. Annie, you should know by now you can't just dive into someone's life and force a love connection. You're absolutely right. I'll have to be sneaky. Sorry your order took so long. We're short-staffed today. Hope everything's okay. Everything okie-dokie. Here, I'll be back to take your orders. Oh, sorry, Coach. Oh. Oh. Now, Coop, I really want to pay you for what you're doing. Coop already get paid to eat by Domino's Pizza Test Kitchen. <laughs> no, I don't mean eating. I mean babysitting. Hmm. Coop not know. Never have child's life in Coop's hands before. Please say yes, Coop. Please, 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 please. Yes. Hey, man. Glad you're here. This is our new manager. 
Lohan. Red Lutz. Hank Cola. I'm also mate, buddy. Well, I am. Uh, you two know each other? Fred and I have been running together since the DMV post office and unemployment office. <laughs> the civil service triple crown. You better believe it. Now I have someone on the inside. <laughs> and finally, we'll get some organization around here. Organization. It's the key to any enterprise. And towards that end, I've distilled my years of experience into this easy-to-follow employee manual. Volume one. Hello, Atlas Diner. One moment, please. A phone call, and the civil service springs into action. Have you been helped? It's for you. Coach Hank Cola here. One moment, please. Carol? You've got a phone call. Thanks, Sandy. Uh, this is Carol. Carol? Hank Kohler, is that you? <laughs> what a wonderful, whimsical thing to do. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, good job. You know, I, I have a confession to make ever since we met. I've thought about you more than once. <laughs> oh, well, I think, you know, it's true that I... You, you really make quite an impression. You're, you're a terrific guy. Well, I guess you've heard that before. <laughs> Not so many that I wish. Maybe we could get together sometime. Say, uh, Friday night? Together? You and me? On a date? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying out of this. I'm staying out of this. So what do you say? Can't. Busy. <laughs> well, there you have it. Proof positive that you can't interfere in other people's love lives. Annie did, and look what happened. Maybe she's finally learned her lesson. Parker, as God is my witness, I will not rest until we get Carol and Hank together. Hmm, maybe not. But it was all going according to plan. Hank's lonely, Carol's alone. They're perfect for each other. How could he turn her down? If Annie knows I've been watching, she'll have me do the Chuck Woolery thing on Carol and Hank. You've got to talk to Hank. Y chromosome to Y chromosome. Hey, Conrad Bain's touring with Phantom. Parker, go, go. Couples have their own special language. It's about closeness, communication, <laughs> intimidation. Annie and I think that you should go out with Carol. So, good luck. If Carol got to know me, she'd reject me. I can't handle rejection. It makes me snack heavily. Who can blame you? I know what you're thinking. How come I don't feel the same way about Grace's vicious rebuffs? Never crossed my mind. Grace is a goddess. She's the impossible dream I did to a uh, dream. The dream is dead. You're 75 bucks. Go take Carol for Hot and Does. Go! Go, go, go! Never send a boy to do a principal's job. Mmm. This is delicious. The squab just melts in your mouth. Blim? I used to love cooking gourmet meals. Of course, now it's just Timmy and I. It's kind of hard to cook for a kid whose favorite meal is Where's Waldo SpaghettiOs? <laughs> Oof! Yeah, I guess you do. You know, I've always wanted to date a man in the park service industry. Boy? Me? Oh, um, I'm a parking enforcement officer. Oh, Good Godiva. Don't tell me you wear a uniform. Every day. Oh, boy. I love uniforms. The name tags, the shiny shoes, the pleats so sharp you could slice a salami with them. Oh, boy. I feel so special when I have my uniform on. 
Like I'm important, like... Like I'm somebody. You are important. You are somebody. You're part of an elite group fighting to make the world a regulated bureaucratic paradise. You're a civil servant. Care for some dessert? Thanks. Gangway, the evil hunter cried, leaving the gorilla all the bananas he could ever want, and he lived happily ever after. The end. Hmm. Gentle misunderstood gorilla stories always resonate within Kube. Okay. Time for bed. I'll have a number three hold the onions. Number six, sir. Hold the onions, pickles, tomatoes, cheese, and sprouts. Extra cilantro. <coughs> Please answer yes or no to the following questions. Do you want dressing on the side? Would you like fries with that? Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Had a real nice time, Hank. You did? So did I. Well, then. Did you know the monetary unit in Albania is the lek? Jupiter has 12 moons. Have you ever had curry flavored cheese? What a week. I never imagined life could be so sweet. One whole week without Kohler nipping at my high heels and the word is out. I'm available again! <laughs> the floodgates have been thrown open. Let the men come. Mm, yeah, yeah, nice buttons. Mm. The manual clearly states that there will be 24 fries per order. Look at this. You're three fries over. Now what could you have been thinking? I don't know, man. All the problems in Eastern Europe, in the ozone hole, I guess the fries just got past me. Get your priorities straight, son. Kids these days. Doesn't it do your heart good? Knowing you've helped Hank and Carol, two lonely people find each other. Hey, Byron Allen's working on an Urkel imitation. I know they've only been dating a week, but look at the results. Hank stopped torturing Musso. I think his days of wild, irrational behavior are over. Hey, everyone, we're getting married. Carol finally said yes. Hot fudge Sundays for everyone in the house. And bring them all to us. <laughs> <laughs> this is too soon. They're asking for disaster if they rush into this. Parker, you've got to talk them out of this. I'm serious. It's very important to me. Lewis? If you do anything to interfere with this marriage, I'll kill everyone in the building. I'm not bluffing. Talk about a no-win situation. The best thing I can do is sit here, read my magazine, and wait this out until the situation solves itself. Hmm. Still waiting. Congratulations. Just think, Mr. and Mrs. Coach Hank Kohler. This is the best thing to happen since Golden Girl B. Arthur got married in the show's final episode. Yeah! yeah. Really. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, I feel such a warm glow inside. It's true what they say. This is one of the most special events in a woman's life. <laughs> I don't care what Miss Musso says. You've got to talk some sense into Hank. Rushing into marriage can destroy a good relationship. Annie, the best thing we can do is leave them alone. I say we butt out and back off. Way out and way off. 
Hi, guys. Grace is throwing us a little engagement dinner party, and since you two got us together, we insist you come. We can't. Mm. Wait to come. Annie. It's incredible. One minute Carol and I were kissing, the next minute I was begging her to marry me. I can't believe she said yes. I'm getting married, Parker. Singing the song of love. Taking the leap of love. Jumping into the volcano of love. Where the molten lava of love will sear the flesh off my bones! Dinner's at eight. I hate this. I hate Lutz, his stupid manual, his stupid procedures. I hate coming to work. I hate the customers, the diner, everything connected with this job. Any enthusiasm I've ever had is totally gone. I hate work. I hate customers. Enthusiasm gone! Congratulations, kid. You're ready for a job with the civil service. Before I serve dinner, a toast to Hank and Carol. May they have a long life of wedded bliss as soon as is humanly possible. Here, here, here. Time for the main course. Can I give you a hand? You relax, honey dumpling. How can I ever thank you for encouraging me to go out with Carol? She's my ideal woman. My soulmate. My life is now complete. <laughs> I want you! Oh, I can't believe I did that. How could I do such a terrible thing? You didn't do anything. Your lips just slipped. It was a horrible, horrible accident. Now you're going to go right out there and you're going to pretend that what just happened didn't happen. You're marrying Carol to death to you part. But crazy! I said march of me! We must talk wedding plans. Do you want a big wedding or a small? Well, Hank and I haven't really discussed yet, but I've always wanted a big church wedding. <laughs> Oak or Grace? I love a church wedding. They're always so romantic. <laughs> Beats? The minister, the organ music, the church filled with the fragrant scent of fresh-cut flowers. Cream corn? Oh, there's nothing as romantic as a big church wedding. Hank, what is this? What is going on? Nothing. I'm the happiest man in the world. You and I are about to embark on a beautiful life's journey together. Two people soon to be one. Bound by the vows of holy matrimony. I kiss Grace Bozo! Anymore. I want you and you in the kitchen now. Look, the two of you have to talk to each other or you'll never get a second shot at love. Like superstars Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith. Tell Carol how you really feel. Be honest. Like America's funniest couple, Roseanne and Tom Arnold. Hillary Clinton found it in her heart to stand by her man. Show Hank how warm, compassionate, and loving you are. Well, looks like my work's done here. Who befrayed Coach and Timmy's mom not spend life together in wedded bliss? Sometimes couples discover they're just not compatible. I don't know what happened. Well, obviously you were having second thoughts about us. No, yes, no, yes. I'm confused. Everything's fine. Look, I'm a man of extremes. Even as a kid, I hated to eat. Was as skinny as a bean pole till I turned 12. What happened? Look in the Guinness Book on the pasta and you'll see. Nothing with me is ever in moderation. I went from being afraid to go out with you to wanting to marry you all in a week. And well, I guess I just got in over my head. I'm sorry, Carol. I'll leave and never bother you again. Where are you going?
going? Burger King. Goodbye forever. Hank, wait, don't go. I thought you were mad. I'm furious, but I still care about you. Can't, can't you get that through your thick skull? You're an amazing woman. Let's get married. Hank, we're not getting married. I said yes so quickly because oh, I would love for Timmy to have a father, and I am awfully fond of you, but I think we should give ourselves time to breathe. You understand? Yes. I think I finally do. Free tomorrow? Give me a call. Listen, everyone, I have a little announcement to make. Hello? Hello? No, um, I think we should wait even longer, Hank. Um, I, I was just telling everyone how we're not getting married. No! Oh. But we are going to continue to see each other. We're taking it very slowly. What are you doing later? <laughs> You're crazy, you know that? I'm crazy, all right. Crazy about you. <laughs> Hank and Carol work things out and everyone's happy, especially me. From this day forward, I vow never to get involved in other people's love lives again. I have an uncle who'd be perfect for Miss Musso. Nope, there's no way I'm gonna... Hmm, they would make a cute couple. See for yourself. Closed for lunch? When civil servants go bad. Come on! Entertainment Weekly calls it one of the best debut shows of the year. Blind Blind. After Married with Children in Herman's Head tonight. And this Wednesday, when Brenda reveals secrets about the gang to a tabloid TV show, she could lose every friend she has on an all-new 90210, followed by an all-new Melrose Place. Now, stay tuned for In Living Color. Mr. Lewis? Mr. Randall? Mr. Phillips? 